Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to install Launcher, aka the best customizable pixel launcher ever. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the name is Launcher. Get it? <laughs> well, that's a pet pun, I know. But anyways, now we're on the Launcher's official website. We have our download link here and we have our introduction to Launcher and some features as you can see and some screenshots like uh, also Launcher has Android Oreo features it says I know that customizable pixel launcher and we have community links and more info but we're not doing anything with those right now first uh, go to the APK mirror link. I'll put these links in the description down below so you can download from there. And it says launcher, as you can see. And just scroll down here to all, it says all versions and tap on the latest version. The latest version is October 2nd, 2017 right now and scroll down unfortunately launcher is not available on Play Store right now but in the future they will add it on Play Store too now um, as you can see minimum version is Android 5.0 Lollipop and the target is Android 8.0 now I'm on Android 7.1.1 Nougat so I can download it as you can see Tap download APK and scroll down and it says your download is starting. Just wait for download to start. Okay. I'm gonna download with Chrome right now. Okay, just hit OK button and it will start downloading. So let's just wait download as you can see it's downloading and it's done yeah now tap the download the file and hit the install button it takes time now it's done and hit the home button if it asks for the first time just hit launcher and hit always but I'm using launcher now and it doesn't ask for me now here we have the customizable pixel launcher and it's fully working as you can see when you swipe to right we have our Google Now page here and when you swipe from dock or wherever you want we have app drawer as you can see and we have search here okay let's go um, and we have our Google search pill and Google assistant button as you can see this works but for my device right now I don't know why but it's it's just slow but on my device probably your device will handle that as you can see we have folders and the most important feature probably we have Android shortcuts and the shortcuts are in Android Oreo style and these shortcuts probably will work on Android 6.0 Marshmallow 2 I'm on 7.1.1 as I said before and so these app shortcuts are live or dynamic let's say for example on WhatsApp here I guess it's not working right now um, here on the Google phone app you can see your favorite contacts as you can see I have one favorite contact and it's me <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and the people who you recently called you or the people who you recently contacted with we also have notification dots over here as you can see for example if we tap in Chrome we have notification downloaded and when you swipe the notification, 
goes away. As you can see, let's try it here. As you can see, oops, <laughs> I swiped notification. It goes away just like this. And it's pretty handy for cleaning notifications just like this. And we also have a edit button here. You can change the icon and change the name of the app. You can select from your icon packs right here. And let's try this Google Assistant button. Okay. It's, it's kind of glitchy. And one of the features that I love about Lounge Chair is when you go to settings, oops, go to settings, we have general pixel UI behavior backup and debug. Let's go to general first. You can use white Google icon and enable rotation. Also hide icon labels. And you can change the number of columns and rows. That's pretty good. For example, in my phone, it's 4x4 on default, and I changed it to 5x5. Uh, five five. Oops, notification access. And you can have notification badges and previews if you enable the notification access. As you can see, you can customize the dock right here. You can select it to use wallpaper color and you can hide arrow and page indicator right here also number of icons and duck here and in drawer settings we have our column and drawer as you can see oops <laughs> yeah it kind of delayed the pill anyways you can display as vertical list you can change drawer opacity and uh, as you can see we have the theme right here I'm using light theme right now to show the light theme but normally I use dark and blur as you can see let's change it to dark and this is pretty cool for me yeah, I like I love it as you can see let's go to home screen and as you can see the shortcuts are dark right now and that looks pretty cool as you can see we also have notifications dark too that's pretty cool and the app drawer is dark too let's go to settings again okay general scroll all the way down and I also use blur effect too you can tap enable blur apply blur on search bar folder dock and drawer tap ok let's go back ok let's just wait ok here we go as you can see the google pill is now lighter as you can see the folders are blurred too you can see the background here and over here too and just like that it's pretty amazing and we have our oops I just forgot to change the opacity opacity just um, decrease the opacity to 50% anyways and here we go as you can see it's blurred and it looks pretty cool yeah and I also use the um, pixel UI and you can disable the pixel top bar and use white search bar the white search bar looks like this let's wait okay yeah it looks like this it's kind of cool but I don't like it that much. Okay, let's say that. You can also hide the Google Assistant button. Just like this. Okay, some notification sounds. <laughs> okay, let's go to Pixel.
makes a little more. And you can also change the icon shape like Android Oreo. In Android Oreo we have these uh, settings as default on the pixel launcher. I use circle because that's the best and it matches all the icons properly. And we, we have also animated clock icon. I'll show that later. And you can see the Google Now page if you want and you can enable disable weather. And I also use round app search bar search bar. So let me show that to you. And as you can see, it's like this. And it looks pretty cool for me, in my opinion. Let's go to settings. And yeah, we look at these. So we have behavior, pinch to overview. I don't know, but it doesn't work for me right now. You can pull down for notifications or open search, app search. You know, you can have uh, disable top shadow, enable vibration, disable vibration. You can also uh, uh, enable the home button, opens app drawer option. I don't like it that much because, you know, it's not the stock behavior it's just custom you can also pick up your uh, settings and database and import it again if you want we have about section over here and debug you can also restart launcher if there's a problem okay let me show you the animated clock icon as you can see here we have let me just focus it. Okay, as you can see here, the clock icon is live animated. It's not, you know, static. It's dynamic. And it looks pretty cool, and that's also an Android Oreo feature. I also use General Mobile Jam 5, you may ask. Okay, let me show one more thing to you. As you can see, this looks like Android Oreo notification center, right? It's not Android Oreo. I'm, I mean, I'm not on Android Oreo, but uh, this is an app to do the same thing. As you can see, we have quick settings over here. Okay, the camera isn't uh, focusing. Anyways, and that app is material notification shade like here you can enable and seal that also swiping down opens the original stock android um, quick settings and notification center okay guys i just want to show you one more thing okay google how are you doing How much would could I would check check if it would check check wood? Thank you for this thoughtful question. Every woodchuck is different, each with their own hypothetical chucking abilities. Still, from my read of the literature, one would have to chuck at least their own body weight to be competitive. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, it's hands free and when you say okay Google it just opens the assistant and that's, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that like button too. Also follow me on my social media accounts. I'll put the links in the description box below. So guys, until next time, peace out.